Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo and I'm a customer service engineer on the Hybrid Cloud Support Team. In this video, we're going to review the alerts feature in Deep Security. We'll go over the configuration for receiving email notifications for alerts, the alert options, and receiving and reviewing alerts. There are also events that occur for each protection module and for the overall system that can lead to alerts being generated, but in this video, we're only going to cover the alert feature. Before diving into the alert settings in Deep Security, I'd like to review the SMTP setup in the system settings that's needed to deliver email notifications when an alert is raised. Under Administration, System Settings, and then on the SMTP tab, we can enter the information necessary to authenticate and send mail through your SMTP server. I'll enter my SMTP server name and authentication credentials. In this case, I'm using Gmail's SMTP server, followed by a colon and the port used for authentication. I'll also enter my email address and then check the box for mail server requires authentication and enter my authentication credentials to connect to the server. Now that all of this information has been entered, I'll click save, then test SMTP settings. If I've entered everything correctly, I'll get a message at the top of the page stating that my test succeeded. If the test failed, I'll see a message stating so and we'll need to identify why it failed. One of the best ways to find the reason why the authentication failed is reviewing the server zero log file in the installation directory of the Deep Security Manager software. I'm going to purposely put the wrong server name into the screen to generate an error, and when I navigate to that log file, I can see an entry regarding the SMTP connectivity. I'll correct the information and then save, and we're now ready to begin exploring the options of the alerts in Deep Security. From the top row menu, I'll click on Alerts. In the top right of this page, I have a Configure Alerts button. If I click on this, I'm presented with a pop-up page that contains a list of the alerts available in Deep Security. If I double-click on one of the alerts in the list, I have options for enabling or disabling the alert, specifying the severity, and how the system reacts to these alerts by sending notifications when the issue arises, if the condition of the alert changes, or if the alert no longer exists. Note that some alerts cannot be disabled. The alerts page in your Deep Security Manager displays all alerts that have been triggered but not yet responded to. You can display alerts in a summary view that groups similar alerts together, or in list view which lists all alerts individually. To switch between the two views, use the menu next to alerts in the page's title. You can also sort the alerts by time or by severity. In summary view, I can click show details to see additional information about the alert. If I switch to list view, I can double click on an alert to get additional detail about the alert. From each view's detail, I can see the computer or computers that generated the alert, then begin investigating by looking at the protection module events related to the module that kicked off the alert. There are a couple of different options you have for receiving email notifications from your DSM related to alerts. Under administration, system settings, then alerts, there's a field to enter an email address which will receive emails based on the options set on the alerts in your manager. We typically see customers input a distribution group email address here, or you could even enter an email address that's being watched by an automated system that creates a ticket when a new email is received. You can also click on users on the left under user management, open the properties of a user, and on the contact information tab of the user, check the receive alert emails checkbox so they receive email notifications for alerts. Make sure to enter a valid email address, then click save. This user will now receive all alerts generated by Deep Security as an email notification based on the settings of each alert. That's going to wrap up the configuration of alerts in Deep Security. If you have any questions about any of the items covered in this video or setting up alerts in your environment, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Make sure to check out the link in the description for the Help Center article that supplements this video. Thanks for watching.